What's up, Mike Wiedenbach here giving tips from my, you know, ever producing notebook. Question I got is, there was a new client coming in, he said, oh, what should I do for warm-up? And, you know, he was gonna go on the treadmill, please note you don't have one. And it struck me that the term warm-up and the, the way warming up is done for workouts is actually completely backwards, okay? So here's what happened. So let's say it's Monday night, you know, chest and bias, bro, right? People come in, they walk on the treadmill sometimes, and I've seen this, with their weightlifting belts on the treadmill. So they warm up on the treadmill, walking, you know, doing their pre-workout, you know, the craze or the whatever they have. Then they go to the bench, chat a little bit, leisurely stretch the pecs, then they start benching, right? So this type of warm-up basically says, I would love to get injured and I would really like to underperform today. That's what you're getting. So let's cover the cardio part first. So it's 6 p.m. You have been up since 6 a.m. If you're not warm by now, you're dead, right? I mean, it's very simple, right? So there's no need to warm up per se. Now, if you train first thing in the morning, you know, as I do, I live about six blocks from my gym, so I kind of walk over that usually does it, okay? But if you're very early, then I can see the point, but otherwise there's no need. Then the warm up, what, what the goal should be is to get you ready for what you want to do, right? So let's say it's chest, okay? So you come in and the first thing is you, you foam roll the trigger points, which are usually here in the front delt and there, you know, so that you have the range of motion. Then you create length in your muscle, which you do by working the opposite. So you would do a couple light sets of maybe withered flies or rows, you know. So now your pecs are long, you know, and ready to work. And then you would go to, let's say, the cable fly, do a couple sets of field flies, and then you start the heavy work, okay? So what about stretching? That's a good question. So there are three kinds of stretches, right? There's static, which is, but you see people do, you know, like before a game or whatever. And then there is dynamic, which is, let's say, a chest fly stretches your pecs, or like a deadlift stretches your hamstrings. And then there's ballistic, which isn't been done anymore, but if you're uh, of my generation, you might remember this from like, you know, a sports class or so, when people did this, like, or like sort of the whipping. That should be illegal. That is so dangerous, okay? So ballistic stretching, will absolutely rupture your joints and tendons. Don't do that. Um, static stretching may or may not have a place in terms of um, recovery after the workout, so under the shower. It should not be done before the workout because it weakens your muscles, but it's a tune of 30%. And dynamic stretching is what happens anyways if you train properly, so you don't have to worry about that, okay? So that's kind of a stretching for in. So to summarize, warming up should be, be called getting ready. So you think of your target muscle, you roll out the trigger points that could be in the way of performing properly. Then you create length in the target muscle by training the antagonist. So let's say you want to, you want to do hamstrings, you do some uh, leg extension, then the hamstrings are long and you can actually train them. And then you do a couple light feel things and then you go into the actual heavy work, okay? Walking on the treadmill and static stretching is basically asking for a disaster. Don't be that guy. Mike out.